matchup this Sunday afternoon, Texans-Packers, and I've got both side and total free for you. Two plays for this game coming up in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV, breaking down your 1 o'clock Eastern game on CBS, Houston at Green Bay. Look ahead line last week was around 1.5 to 2, and now it's pretty much 2.5, 3. So a little bit of sharp money did come in on the Packers this week. I agree with that move. Um, shop around, though. There are still some two and a halves. Other spots have minus three. We've also seen some sharp money come in on the over-under, pushing it from 47 up to 48 in most locations. I agree with that move as well. So once again, I like Packers and over in this game Sunday, and there are several reasons why. Uh, first of all, home field's not worth what it was a decade ago. It used to always be three points. Now it's one to two points. But Lambeau's always one of the stronger home fields. In fact, my colleague Ralph Michaels at wagertalk.com pointed out this week that since Matt LaFleur took over five and a half seasons ago, the Packers have the second best spread record at home of anybody in the league, right behind the Lions and Dan Campbell, who's 20 and 8. Packers and LaFleur, 28 and 15, 65% against the spread in home games the past five plus seasons. And I do think their home field is worth a little bit more than average. And also, whenever we get quality teams, two playoff caliber teams like this facing off, the home team normally has an edge as well. Also like the matchup edge here for the Packers for a couple reasons. First of all, these are two really good offenses, and that's why I like over 48. But I think the Packers are the better overall offense, especially with Jordan Love back at the helm and healthy finally. Um, Love had an excellent game last week against Arizona, 119.5 QB rating. Also had a 95.7 rating the week before against the Rams. And, of course, he came back the week before that against the Vikings um, after missing a couple games. So he is back, and their overall seasonal stats are really strong, even better with him in the lineup. In fact, on the season, Green Bay's averaged almost 8 yards per pass attempt against teams that allow 6.7. Texans do statistically have one of the strongest pass defenses in the league, giving up just 5.4, but they've faced opponents that averaged just 6.3. Packers are averaging almost eight yards per pass. So this is a huge step up in class for Houston's pass defense, which I don't think is quite as good as the numbers indicate. Houston does have a capable offense, though, almost six yards per play, but that's come against some weak opponents that allow 5.7. Uh, Packers given up 5.7, but once again, they gained 6.3. So I think Green Bay is the better overall team. I do think both offenses hold the matchup edges here. So I like Packers, and I like the over. Now, we're talking about that point spread being 2.5 in some spots. Other spots have minus three even money. Three is the key number in all of football betting. There's about an 8 to 9% chance this game lands on exactly three with the Packers winning. So there is a huge difference. Shop around, try to get that minus two and a half. But as long as it's three or less, Green Bay is the side in this game. And I also like the over 48 as these teams should be able to trade points in what is the, one of the better matchups uh, this Sunday afternoon at 1 o'clock Eastern. Hey, comment below. I read all the comments. I reply back. What are your thoughts on this game? Side and total. Are you playing them? Player props. I love the player props. Many of you do quite well with them. Include those below. Let's win and learn and earn together here on Wager Talk TV. If you're liking these free play videos, I'll keep them coming. I can do about 8 to 10 games a week in college and pro football. And no, they don't all win because most of these are just TV leans for you. Look, if you want my official best bets, then check out my personal page, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. But when I see a lean in some of these high-profile TV games, I like to give it to you. That's why I do all the weeknight games, also these high-profile Sunday games. And if you're finding it useful, hey, comment below and let me know, and I will keep the videos coming. Also, thumbs up, like is greatly appreciated. Boom, smash it. You did it. Thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed yet, we're almost at 180,000 subscribers here on Wager Talk TV. I know most of you have, but if you forgot, click the subscribe button for free right now. And consider hitting that bell as well, because when you click that bell, you get an instant alert when these free play videos go up throughout the week, and also when my NFL Fade the Public video is ready each and every weekend here on the channel. Hey, speaking of those best bets, as we head into the weekend on an 8-1, and 89% all-sports run over the past week in baseball and football, and basketball now starts next Tuesday night. The NBA is around the corner. I'm number one the last three years in NBA profit and number one all time units one in the history of wagertalk.com. But it's not just basketball. Football is number one this year. College and pro best bets off to a 27-14 start this regular season. Also number one in baseball, 31-13 and 13 finish to the regular season. Playoffs are here as well. So it is a great time to be in all sports, all access. In fact, starting next week, when basketball begins, it's the only time of the year with baseball, football, and basketball will be going for the next several weeks. So why not jump on board now? And I've got an offer that's really too good to pass up. You know I preach the importance of a long-term investment approach. Well, right now you can get the rest of 2024 for free. That's over two and a half months for free. To put this in perspective, we're already up over 170 net units 
one in all sports this calendar year. That's just nine and a half months in. You're going to get the next two and a half months for free when you sign up for 2025. And I'm also going to give you an instant $200 discount on the 2025 all sports package. So once again, sign up for next year, get a $200 discount, and I'm including the next two and a half months the rest of this year for free, which is worth several hundred dollars more. Plus, you'll make money to build that bank. Well, the investment will pay for itself before the new year begins, as we're already up over 170 units this calendar year, and there's still over two months to go. Check it out. There's no promo code needed, but the offer is good through this weekend only. If you're serious about taking a long-term investment approach, look, I know many of you for weeks and weeks have been, I'll wait till Steve has an off week. Well, we went 8-1 and one this past week. We're number one in college and pro football combined. Number one in all sports combined, baseball, football, and basketball profit this year. Don't try to time the market. We're not going to win every week. We all know that. But we basically have been winning every week. In fact, over the last month, I don't think we've had a down week. It's been a couple months. That's really remarkable. The point is, though, when you set it and forget it, take a long-term investment approach, the ebbs and flows even out. It works out to about a dollar a play. It is the way to do it if you're serious about winning long-term. Check that offer out right now on my page. No promo code needed. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Now, if you want a football package only, this weekend only, I do have a discount for both college and pro, $2.99 for college, or if you want to have NFL, just $3.99. Promo codes for those football-only packages are available as well. Check it out. You see what best bets I have every day. You also see a recap of the last 20 best bets, a rolling recap every day at the bottom of the page. You can also click on those previous best bets to read the analysis to see how I do things. And also get that daily free play. You know, these free play videos are great. A lot of times I'd recommend treating these as 1% leans. Uh, same with the free plays on my site. I'm very selective, maybe one to three best bets a day. So the last cut I post is an additional free play. So check that out as well, along with that great all sports special where you get the rest of this year free. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, wt.buzz slash sm gets you there quicker. Hey, follow me on social media. Trying to get more active with Instagram as well with some free play videos. So follow me on IG and Twitter as well, at Steve Merrill. You know the deal. It's two R's, one L. At Steve Merrill, two R's, one L at Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And stay tuned here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free content coming up next.